Hey there, and welcome to They Are Billions, a new uh, RTS zombie survival game that has come out. And uh, it's been in the works for quite a while, and you did have the ability to get early access, uh, but it's just now today come on Steam just a matter of hours ago. Uh, so if you've been keeping your eye on this, then definitely uh, go to Steam and check it out because it's now on there. I believe it's about $25 with a 10% launch discount, so like $22. And... Uh, it is really fun. So if you're uh, not familiar with the game, like I said, it's an RTS style uh, zombie survival with a bit of a steampunk and gothic theme, uh, as you can kind of see here. So the, the point uh, currently is, uh, is to survive the uh, zombie waves and build out your town and expand out and get resources and, uh, and stuff like that. There will in the future be a campaign mode, which they're working on, uh, that I think will be coming sometime uh, early next year. So we're in the game here and uh, you can adjust your options, um, scores and stuff. Um, now just to show you that some options, I've already set up a game for us so we don't have to um, like look for maps because sometimes you do need to reroll. Um, the maps are randomly generated um, and sometimes you just get maps that aren't good, right? So just to show you, um, I'm just going to name this test. Um, you have three options here. You have your map terrain, your game duration, and your infected population, and then we have a score factor. Um, the map terrain is uh, essentially what, what map you're on, uh, or what map terrain, and then it's randomly generated from that. Now, the Dark Moorland is the only one we have available now, because uh, you actually have to beat like the previous one to unlock the next one. So we have to beat the Dark Moorland at 100% or more to unlock the next, and so on and so forth. The game duration is how long it is. Um, long, uh, longer is easier and then shorter it would be harder so uh, to win the game you have to create a colony and stay alive for the duration of the game the hordes of the infected are the same regardless of the duration selected um, therefore the longer the duration the easier the game will be as you will ha have more time to build your defensives before the horde arrives so there's like hordes that arrive at every X amount of days or so like depending on how many days you set so at 100 days one comes in at like day 12 or 13 and then another one at like day 20 or so um, but like this says, the hordes aren't bigger, like they don't get bigger as you, if you give yourself more days. So if you give yourself more days, it gives you more time to build up for each horde. Um, and then we have the infected population and this is, you know, how many are on the map from the beginning and the size of the hordes. So currently we're at hundred percent. You can adjust these how you want. Like if we go 120, it reduces to 75, but then you could, you know, bump this up to high, um, so on and so forth. You know, you could do like insane settings and just do this. Um, but that is quite difficult. So we're going to uh, just set, um, we've set it on default with the game I've prepared. So we're going to continue. And uh, here we are. So once you do that, you'll load into a game and uh, and you'll see kind of what, what things look like here. And I, I already started a teeny bit, I'll explain. I just wanted to explore and see if this was a suitable map or not. Um, so currently I'm paused. Uh, you can pause um, however you, like whenever you want by clicking this or just spacebar. Uh, however, to kind of counteract that, this the game is automatically Iron Man mode, all right? There is no quick save. If you want to save, you gotta save and exit. So you kind of could, like you can save and then exit and obviously come back later. But like if a horde's coming and you save and exit, it's not really gonna help you because you're gonna come back like right when they're attacking anyway. Um, so it is automatically Iron Man mode, which makes it um, fairly challenging. Uh, but let's get in here. So I've built three tents. Um, we have multiple tabs here. We can do some colonists, some tents, um, which give us colonists over here. Uh, and then to kind of go down these tabs, we have workers, um, which come from colonists. They're not two separate entities. Like um, out of our 12 colonists, we have 11 workers. Uh, and then food production and energy production. And then we have gold, wood, stone, steel, or iron and oil. And we can build resources as our resource gathering tab, our energy. Um, the mill gives us energy and the Tesla tower expands our borders. You can see this kind of grid it allows me to expand because we can only build where there's energy. Um, and then in industry, like stored stuff and upgrade places, military, a soldier center, and there will be more stuff in the future. And then defenses, we can build walls. So we start out with um, four rangers. I have one guy here, one guy here, here, and here, and then a soldier. I've just explored out pretty much to the edge where the zombies are, um, just to kind of see what we have going on here. Uh, so far this is decent. Um, I see a choke point here and a choke point here. Um, a little one here, but this would be more ideal. 
and then one here as well, uh, and then kind of here and here if we need to, and you just slowly expand out. Um, initially, I thought this map wouldn't be great, but I did find these crates. You can sometimes find these crates, um, and we have gold, wood, and iron here, so I'm gonna unpause, and we're going to grab all this, and then we're going to start working on stuff. So we have houses, and pausing, um, I wanna warn you guys that I'm gonna be pausing a lot, and that's kind of what you have to do in this game. Uh, this is a this is a challenging game. Like until you get the hang of it, this is a very challenging game. Um, I'm not gonna claim that I'm like great at RTS. I would say I'm about average, but I have lost numerous times um, due to not pausing enough or a zombie sneaking in. Because uh, if they sneak in and they kill and they attack one of your tents, all your buildings have you see that like yellow bar. Um, that's kind of its like buffer endurance once that goes down it becomes infected and then it starts spawning zombies so if you let anyone in you're pretty much screwed um so i'm gonna be pausing a lot uh this is obviously this first map is gonna take quite a few episodes i would imagine but uh i hope you guys enjoy it um so we're gonna play some wood harvesting i'm trying to find the highest yield here i saw 13 11 seems to be about the best we can get so let's do that um, a quarry as well would probably be good. Um, however, we will need some food so we can get a fishing lodge here or a cottage um, Let's see. I saw 13 Some of these 14s I can't actually place. So we're gonna go with a 13 there. It's kind of out of the way um, We could get another you can put these hunter cottages anywhere or if you put them by forest it gives you even more um, so I, I think I'm gonna put one there and then I'm gonna actually get another wood guy here just because you, you do need a lot of wood in the beginning and then we can't quite get a quarry yet because we need more gold. So, what I, I like to set up patrol routes here. So, because if you just have someone stand here, I've <laughs> this is how I lost a lot of times initially. Is I did just have someone standing like in one place, and the zombies just walked past them. Um, so I'm gonna just explore a little bit here. Ooh, we have even more stuff. I don't know what that is. Stone, fantastic. So we're actually full on wood. What? I, I hope I didn't waste any wood there. Um, so we need more workers. So let's go ahead. I, um, another tip is if you if you pause when you're building and you mess something up, you can undo it without any uh, like, and it refunds all your resources. Um, if you build it unpaused, you can't undo it. You have to bulldoze it, and then you only get like 50% back. So that's why I pause a lot when I'm building. Um, let's see. She probably want like a Tesla guy somewhere over here because this is kind of where I'm gonna be building my houses out and I feel like that would probably be a good area to do that uh, okay so if we do I don't want to block us in and it's a little hard to tell unfortunately you're kind of stuck on this um, view <laughs> you can't rotate so sometimes it's a little hard to see like what's what's behind a mountain but uh Attention. We now have two wood guys going, which is fantastic. And we're gonna get you. All of our areas are being patrolled. I'm gonna stick him over here for backup because I do see some guys kind of sitting over there a little bit close. Um, I'm waiting to get some gold. Um, now we get gold, um, that tick bar here. Um, when that reaches full, we get our gold and then same with like all the buildings. All right, so it's some like soon once you get in, um, you can choose a mayor, and these guys have all different kind of benefits. Um, Colony gets a lookout tower, which kind of it, it allows us to just see really far, or food supply plus twenty. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the food, uh, just because we may run out of food, and the lookout tower right now for me isn't that important. Um, so you can see we just got twenty food, which is fantastic. Um, so yeah, we'll get the gold, and our gold increases essentially by however many, like, whenever we build more colonists, we get more gold. Got an invader. Um, yeah, I'm just going to throw down even more, because... Okay, so we could get one stone there. Could get two stone there. That's going to block any pathing, which kind of sucks. Um, they can still walk around this way, but I would like... Is there... Unfortunately, that was one <laughs> one thing I did not notice about this map is we are a little low on stone piles. However, oh, that can't actually even go there. Oh, well, that blows. 
This really blows, actually. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to put another one over here if we even want to get two. And we really want to get two, um, because we're definitely gonna run out. We'll have to expand quickly. So the next step is gonna be Soldier Center. We need more energy, we need stone, and we need gold. Um, so energy would be my first step here. Um, place that there. Kind of wanted maybe another house here, actually. Let's see what I can do about some energy somewhere. Um, put it there. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna go. We definitely need more than one stone gathering. <laughs> so I would like to build another quarry as soon as we can. Gonna need more wood and some gold. Should get both here pretty soon. So we complete our tent. We're doing pretty darn good on workers and population. Alright. So yeah, this is unfortunate. Um, because this is like nowhere near enough stone. Now, we, I don't know if we can put another one over there. I kind of don't think so. But we'll have to see. Um, I'm going to start expanding. Putting some Tesla turrets out here as I can afford them. So we now have more energy. We're probably going to need some more food soon as well. Maybe it would be advantageous to build some walls at some point. I need to really expand a bit further before I do that, though. So we're still missing the stone and the gold and the workers. All right. Put one there. That's really... Building completed. Hmm. All right, can we put one here? No, darn. Wow, okay, so we're capped at two stone. I, When I picked this map, that was one thing I thought I could get more from this, but, um, so that's really not good, actually, uh, because that means we are going to really have some stone problems at some point here. Uh, I think I'm gonna... We're kind of running out of room to place tents, too. Uh, let's see, let's... Expand out. Uh, yeah, let's expand out this way. Or should we go this way? Maybe we should go this way, huh? That'll allow us to kind of put a wall there. We're almost full on wood, as it is. So, I'm gonna move you up. Now, the soldiers, you do want to be careful because they're really loud. So, if you go, like, for defense, they're okay. But if you go, like, to push, like, go explore with them... They're gonna attract a lot of guys because they're a lot of zombies because they're really loud. So it's usually best to kind of do rangers. We're still waiting on that. All right, we really need to build some walls because we are wasting resources. A gate, now gates can only kind of go a couple ways. I guess that'll work. You can see how they just kind of connect here. I'm not confident about that being sealed, so I'm gonna do that. Just kind of a way to spin some of our wood and stuff. Um, should be getting our stone here shortly. I sh want to build a few more houses, though. Sweet. Okay, so that takes care of that. This should be pretty protected at this point. Um, and we should get our stone in just a second there we go so let's go ahead and build the soldier center um now all this grassy area will be really good for farms but this is actually a perfect area for this because it's not really on the grass so you don't really need to patrol you can just stand there um i'm just gonna try to really expand at this point uh, let's see where would be a good spot for there's some stone over there. I'm trying to figure out where we want to start pushing out. Um, really, there's a ton of iron there. So there's some stone there, but I think there were quite a bit of zombies over there. Um, we need to start finding a new housing area as well. This is <laughs> this is getting pretty full right here, which is not good. I think, can we fit? I can't fit one there. We need more food. All right, um, let's get another thingy over here could get another cottage on this guy there's 12 16 oh yeah, i'll take that 16 for sure 
Attention. All right, let's uh, just build tons of rangers. And uh, then the walls, uh, I would like to very much wall here. Can I build one of these yet? I can't, sweet. Let's, um, let's just throw one like right there. And you're going to, I guess, stand there. I think they should be able to protect pretty much everything. Because I'd like to wall like here and here. We will need two people to protect that, but... And then he should actually be able to protect pretty much this whole wall. So we're going to add you to our um, kind of expanding party. I'm just trying to find like any possible corner to tuck these houses into. Um, we can't upgrade them later, but we're not there yet. So kind of placing them wherever I can. We are full on wood. Um, that is done. Let me pause. Um, there is a zombie over there. Maybe we should actually expand this way. They're coming in... Kind of hard that direction. And I'm just going to stop. Otherwise, they go a little bit crazy with their expanding and it's not good. In fact, you should move up here. <laughs> We do not want this Tesla turret, turret to get um, towered and get attacked. And the zombies are definitely coming at us a bit hard here. Okay, so for this stone workshop, we pretty much just need 10 workers. So we just need some more houses at this point. Um, it's all great area for farms, but I mean, really, we have tons of room for that. I guess I could just build... Actually, let me undo that. And I'm out of food. Again? Wow. We're just going through this food, man. Uh, let's see. There's a 16 over here. Probably get some more over here, too. Alright, we're full on wood. I really want to uh, try and get some walls up. So yeah, if we stick some walls, like... I do want to do gates because obviously we will want to expand past this. So being able to walk through it rather than having to tear it down is definitely advantageous. Um, okay, I'm going to send you over here and you over here. You can just kind of stand guard. That should be good against most things. Alright, what, what are we still missing? Wood, which we should get soon, and gold. Um, wood we should have here very shortly. Ish. <laughs> Just saving up for this wood workshop, because this will allow us to get ballistas, which will be really, really good for defense um, when the hordes come. Quite a large building. Um, hmm. I'd, I think I can get another mill on there, so I'd kind of like to reserve that, but over here would be a very good housing district, potentially. I think I'm just going to throw this, like, right there. <laughs> it's, like, right right next to the wall, but that's fine. They are attacking the colony defenses. Okay, this guy is not necessarily in the best spot. Couldn't quite kill him. All right, so we're going to just kind of expand out. Uh, now... We can gain experience on our guys, and they will um, essentially, uh, what would be the right word, like, level up or become the veteran. They go, go to veteran level. So, once you kill enough stuff, they'll level up and it increases their damage and their attack speed, um, which is really nice. Now, I'm realizing that... <laughs> I'm realizing that something can sneak in over here, and that would be disastrous. So you get stand guard here. Okay, we need more workers, which is fine, although we need more energy. And for energy, we need workers. Ew. Um, okay, let's shut down. I'm gonna pause one of these. 
Let's find somewhere we can put some energy. That's a little dangerous. Could put one right there. Alright. No, I'm pretty sure we got it, game. Thank you. Okay, where else could we expand? All right, we need the, we need the workers, and for that we need energy. So we're gonna have to wait a little bit here. Attention, building completed. Great. Now these guys are pretty easy to kill when we have a group, but we've got to be careful because there's like runners in here, and there's some guys like executives in suits that are gonna just really demolish us at this level if we're not careful, at least. Attention, building completed. All right, so we've got that. Let's go ahead and find somewhere we can put a ton of houses. I think this is a really good area, potentially. Hmm. I'm just gonna put down <laughs> as many houses as I can fit, pretty much. But it's not gonna allow any way to walk through there, so it's gonna be about our max. Each one, I think, gives us two workers. Or two colonists, so should be pretty good. Kind of trying to make our way over to this uh, stone because we will need more stone. Like we're we're doing okay now, but um, and I did build this. Let's research. Uh, so this is where we can get our upgraded houses, our farms. Farms may actually be a good idea. We're not quite to the time they'll raid yet. I feel like farms would actually be good. Um, because we, we don't really have much other place we could put food. I think we could put another cottage here, maybe. Which, which would be good. And can I fit? Okay, I can't put a mill there. I can put one here as well if we need it. We have more than enough wood, though. Okay, so we need 200 gold for that. You can see our income did go up, though, as we added all those, like, houses. Um, I can't tell. Is that gonna block a walking path? I can't actually tell. We'll stick it here instead. So I'm just gonna kinda continue to push out. Add you to the group. Um, walls over here would probably be a really good idea. <laughs> uh, I don't plan to really expand this way quite yet, so... Um, actually, this could be bad. It could actually really be bad. Any orders? Attention. Building completed. Alright, we got him. <laughs> Gotta be careful. Get, like I said, if just one dude sneaks in, you're in trouble. Um, let's go ahead and throw a gate. And I mean, if we need to demolish the wall later, we can. These really aren't that expensive, especially once you get later in. Um, but... I sh she should be able to cover that whole thing. And now that we have that, I think I can send you over to this group. Try to push that out. Um, research finished. We can now get a ballista. That's all of our gold, but then once we get more, we can build a farm. Um, we will need wood, which we're still doing okay on, really. Let's kind of try to clear this out. Um, and I believe, I could be wrong, I believe the zombies don't like respawn necessarily so what Do you need me? so like as we um as we clear them out they'll kind of stay cleared out yeah calm down we're not even close to losing the wall fences are being attacked over there too all right so we're gonna repair over here with this button and uh, more houses would probably be good. Throw some more here. We're actually quite good on that. We really need food at this point. So we could put a farm here, although, well, that's actually pretty good. And we can get really good out here. I don't know where, like, let me let me see about housing over here. Can't really fit many more houses. I could put one like here, and I think we could still put a farm down. And then, I mean, heck, we could probably put we can stick one in the farm, I guess. Um, just kind of wherever we want. 
like it may seem messy and it is but that's kind of that's another thing i like about this game is it um it kind of like your village just kind of develops organically and and none of them are ever really the same attention building completed up oh, so here's here's someone here's a fast person um shoot them please attention technology research finished we did get ballistas which is fantastic which we probably will want to save up for. They're 500 gold. And whichever direction the wave comes from, we're going to want to put a ballista there. Unfortunately, this location is not great. Because <laughs> I put a freaking energy thing right there. We'll have to put it like in front of the gate, which is okay. I mean, you can see that's its range there, which is quite nice. Just kind of push these guys out. And I think I'm going to call this a uh, first episode. Uh, leave you in suspense for the wave. Uh, you know, this we do have to go up to 100 days, so this will take quite a few episodes. But I hope you guys are enjoying. Let me know down below. And uh oh, two runners. I think we can get them. Yep. Um, let me know about down below if you want to see more, if you're enjoying, and uh, any thoughts or questions you have as well. But until next time, I look forward to seeing you all, and do take care.